let me tell you about this thing that I made um, that I'm very proud of. So we've been talking about Meshtastic and um, I am making a proposal to talk about Meshtastic at the C3 conference. And I wanted to say that I had made a Meshtastic node for less than $5. Oh my God, as you can see, I've air wired this elegantly, I might add, and stuck a little like curly Q 915 megahertz antenna on this. So what is the price? I bought this RP2040 on AliExpress for a dollar, I think it was a dollar 60, something like that. So a dollar 60, 350. Um, and then I'm not even, we could use a wire, so I'm not even really counting this antenna. That puts us at about $5.40 for this Raspberry Pi 2040-based uh, Mesh-tastic node. Does it work? Yes, it does. Um, I ran this and I managed, I named it um, Pi Pi Driver. Um, hopefully some people will get that. And uh, I was able to get this up and working over serial, admittedly, because the this version of um, the RP2040 doesn't have the companion Wi-Fi chip that would make it like the, you know, the cheap version of the Raspberry Pi Pico W. This is uh, instead the cheap version of the Pi Pico. So this is officially supported by Meshastic, like the RP2040, but most people assume you're gonna be normal and you're gonna be using a uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, weirdly, the Raspberry Pi Pico would blow my budget of $5 out of the water. So in order to make a super, super cheap version of this, I had to go with the uh, WaveShare RP2040 Zero board instead. Now, um, I've got some frustrations with this. I've actually talked about this board on the stream before, and I was complaining that this is a board that has castellated edges. So that means it's got like kind of like cutouts in the edges that make it so you can solder it flat. However, it's also not flat because it puts the RP2040 chip on the side you're supposed to solder to the PCB. So that means it can't be automatically done uh, uh, by China. Like it needs instead to come over here and have me solder it if I want to do it that way. Or I could additionally just change it into a through hole uh, kind of PCB instead if I wanted to slap this on a circuit board. So naturally, anybody who's seen this kind of beautiful air wiring realizes that a circuit board would be the way to make this look less crazy and be more dependable. And I think it actually might be pretty cool and worth paying the couple cents for a circuit board um, to make a version of this project that is uh, able to be slapped together for like maybe six bucks, I guess, all told, uh, that demonstrates the economic potential of creating mesh networks.